down just to hear my thoughts. For my primer, I've added Hard Candy Shirt Envy Primer all over the face. And now I'm using NYC Smooth Skin Liquid Foundation. In the lightest shade that there is, I believe it's an ivory or fair. I'm just applying that with my fingers to blend it evenly into my skin and just drag it down to your neck so it can all blend. To conceal and highlight, you want to pick the lightest shade of the BH Cosmetics palette and I'm applying that with a synthetic brush. Using a synthetic brush blends easier and I'm just applying that on the bottom of my eyes, on my cheekbones, on my chin, and I'm blending it down to my neck as well. And then I'm also going to highlight my forehead and this will just bring the contrast between the contour and the highlight. The next step is to pick the darker shade in the BH Cosmetic palette and we're going to contour and just accentuating the highest point of your cheekbones. I like using my fingers because it blends everything much better when it's a cream base. And then blending it out with a chiseling brush or any flat top brush, you still want to keep the contour there so make sure you don't erase it. And then I'm also bringing it up to my temple and contouring my forehead because it will contrast with the highlight that we are going to later place. I'm also contouring my jawline because vampires tend to have very hollow cheeks, very strong structure of the bone. To highlight and bring out your cheekbones, you're going to select the lightest color where you use a concealer and apply that right below the hollow of your cheeks where you contour with the cream. And then here we are going in with a darker color where we contour um, on the uh, cupid's bow just to accentuate every feature, every hollow, every structure that you have on your face. To contour the nose, take that same color to contour your cheeks with and using a concealer brush, make sure it's a dense concealer brush and just start where your eyebrows is and just bring it straight down the nose, narrowing it as you go. Then we're blending it out with the fingers, just going to warm it up and just blend it in so it won't look too harsh. And then highlight it using the same color that you use on your cheeks. You're just going to bring it down straight to the bridge of your nose. To set the contour, you want to use a black eyeshadow or a black shadow and using a fluffy brush you want to go over where you contour. This is just going to give it the bone structure that we desire as a vampire and how hollow it is. Instead of using a bronzer, you definitely want to use a darker color because it stands out so much better against your pale skin. So just go over your forehead, go over your jawline, and just bring it around the face where you applied your contour. Now we're going to set the face with a loose translucent powder. This is going to make your makeup stay on all day and to blend all of the black shadows together making it a part of your skin. Moving on to the eyebrows, you definitely do want to fill and groom your eyebrows just using any kind of shade that you like. I prefer a darker shade and make sure you arch the very arch of your eyebrows. Brush it out, clean it, and make sure it's very sharp and very clean. To fill the red in the eyebrows, just fill it halfway using a lip liner or a red eyeliner. I'm pretty sure there isn't many red eyeliners out there, but um, just fill it in and then groom it and blend it as you go. Priming the eyelids, I'm using e.l.f. Eyelid Primer. This is only a dollar and it works fantastic. For the transition color, we're using a matte brown eyeshadow. It has a reddish tint to it. And using a fluffy brush from Sigma, I'm just going to apply that on my crease and blend it up towards the brow bone as I go. To flare out the shadow, you also want to blend it towards the temple and just connect it to where your eyebrows end.
Next, I'm taking a matte purple from the BH Cosmetics Smoky Eye Palette, and I'm going to apply that onto my crease and just blend it in there, make sure the color uh, blends with the brown and also blend it towards your temple as well. To create a cut crease look, I'm using a liquid eyeliner from NYX Super Skinny Eyeliner and I'm just going to cut the crease here. As you can see, just follow the step. You can do this with a gel liner because it blends easier or with an eyeliner, a liquid eyeliner, just whatever that you can use to make that precision. Using a white cream base, I'm using NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk and I'm applying that onto the lid right below the eyeliner we just placed. To blend the harsh color, we're using a black eyeshadow and using a fluffy brush. We're just going to blend that and also blend it to the inner tear duct, bringing it to the bridge of the nose and up to your eyebrows. This is going to give it a hollow look. Next, using a matte red eyeshadow, I'm going to use that with a fluffy brush and blend it above the brown and on the purple where we've just placed on the crease. This is going to give the look a pull together, very tied, neat, and just red is just fun, so why not? So it should look something like this. And using a shimmery highlight, I'm just going to apply that on the brow bone and just blend it, making it not too harsh. For the next step, just tight line your eyeliner and apply bottom eyeliner and just blend it with the black and the red and the purple and just smoke it out with a pencil eyeliner. I'm sorry I did not get this in frame. No look is complete without dramatic false lashes so I'm using Demi Wispies and I'm just going to line my eyeliner just to blend everything in so you can't see the band. To embellish the face a little, I just used rhinestones and using lash glue and just put it on my tear duct. Prior to adding lip liner, I already moisturized my lips and you can use red lipstick, red lip liner. I just think that liner works a lot better. Here I'm using Maybelline lip liner in red and I'm just going to use a black eyeliner to trace on the outside of my lips up and on the bottom. So then we're just going to blend it out with the fingers and just pucker your lips and blend, blend, blend. And then you're going to go over that with a red eyeliner again to blend everything together so it won't look harsh. Last but not least, put on your fangs and drizzle some fake blood. Let it drip down to look natural. Thank you for watching my loves. Until next time, hope to see you in another video. Hope you enjoyed this one. Be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. I need more because it's killing me, it's killing me.